Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports just did something that they have never done before in any FIFA ever. Shapeshifters Team 2 is opening up a whole new world of possibilities right now with Ultimate Team with some of the craziest position changes that we have ever seen. And today, I'm going to break down this historic move by EA and all the craziness that has happened and the content that is yet to come inside of FIFA 23. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly start back by looking at yesterday's content and all the stuff that we got. It was a crazy day yesterday with objectives, SBC and the cards and packs all being really wild. Now I want to start with the brand new objectives which included way more XP than I was expecting. We had yet another uh, Shapeshifters objective that gives out a lot of XP. We're talking like, uh, what is this, a five or 6,000 XP objective right here, a double 84 pack at the end. This objective right here alone has now um, enabled people to reach the highest level possible of level 30. Yes, there are people right now in FIFA Ultimate Team with this 97 Tony Cruz, uh, or maybe they were um, unlucky and took the 84 times 30 men. We'll talk about it later. Those big fodder packs right now in terms of uh, the weight of packs are not very good. So right now, this Tony Cruz looks like a very good option. Not that he didn't from the beginning. It looks like a cracked card. But that XP is helping a lot of people move throughout the uh, season progress very quickly. So that was nice from EA. I did not expect that, but that was very, very nice. Now, uh, Shapeshifter's player objective yesterday, Pepe Reina, W card, five-star weak foot. Again, this is what we're going to talk about a bit today. A goalkeeper moved up to striker. Four-star skills, five-star weak foot. Um, a nice card and a nice one to get for free. Just again, it's crazy fun and W concept, right? So, absolutely love that. Now, let's talk about the cup a little bit as well. Ganduzi, and we were expecting Ganduzi to drop. I thought he might have been the SBC. He's actually an objective. Guys, this might be one of the best objective players we have had in a long time. Five star, five star, center back, medium high Ganduzi with 90 pace. And really some absolutely insane stats, 99 aggression, 99 stamina. A lot of people are looking at this card and they're saying, man, if I can get him in game to actually play center defensive mid, that might be one of the better spots for this card. Yes, the passing is not as high as you'd maybe like it to be or the dribbling, but those defensive stats for a free card also being five star, five star is absolutely mental. This is a really, really must-do objective. This cup this week, you got some nice fodder packs in here as well. A lone Neuer, which is nice to try out in this mode. Now, the one thing I'll tell you guys is, do not forget, you have to start three goalkeepers in your starting lineup. I've heard a lot of people say that they're matching up against people in the friendly mode, which by the way, the friendly mode is max chem. Um, and I think it's one lone max. Yeah, one lone max, five matches a day, and it's a max chemistry mode. So all of your players will be on max chemistry, but you have to start with three goalkeepers in your starting 11. And then of course, people are sub uh, subbing those off because um, if you're playing a goalkeeper, a lot of people say, Nate, you can't sub out goalkeepers. Well, you can't sub out a goalkeeper if they're starting between the sticks, right? But if they're starting in an outfield position, like like let's say center mid or at striker, you can sub them off just like you can any other player. So a lot of people were doing that, but make sure you start with three goalkeepers in your starting lineup and then sub on somebody else if you want to, or just have some fun and play with a guy uh, that's a goalkeeper in your squad and make this objective probably a little more difficult than it needs to be, but a little bit more fun. 85 times three, 84 times seven, and an 85 times five as the individual packs inside of this cup. And of course, the Ganduzi at the end. Huge W here from EA with this cup for the player and for the fun of it. And of course, uh, the rewards that you get inside. There's a lot going on in the objectives there yesterday, especially with the XP and that Ganduzi. But honestly, a big dub from EA there. That Ganduzi is going to be a card that's already started to drop center back prices, as we'll see on the market. And it's going to continue to do so as more and more people get that card. Now, let's go to SBCs. First of all, we had David Beckham SBC yesterday. Team of the Year Beckham as an SBC. It's a decent price, actually. If you look at Footbin, it's coming in at 1.5, 1.6 million coins, which, in my opinion, a lot of people are downvoting this. This is this is a decent SBC. It really is. David Beckham has been a team of the year icon card that has been so expensive this entire year. This guy was 5.7 million coins during that peak market in March after team of the year because he was so rare. Yes, of course, he's fallen off a lot. Yes, of course, he's not maybe on par with where the meta is. But if you're a Beckham fan, if you need this card in your ultimate team, this is a great value SBC coming in uh, basically at the same price as it is on the market now. But this guy was 2 million coins just last week, two and a half mil. 
and now his SBC is one and a half mil, that's a dub, right? It's the best David Beckham card we're going to have in the game this year. So that is one that uh, you really got to get in your ultimate team. It's very craftable. And I say W for this, right? But it's kind of more emotional feel than anything else. Going to be good in game, but you know, that's there. I like it. We had a shapeshifters challenge SBC as well yesterday, which I don't think is that insane. There's not too much else to say there. The real SBC that we're talking about, guys, is the history that has been made by not only this SBC, but three players in Ultimate Team right now are making history. And we're starting it with talking about it with this Milinkovic Savage. A goalkeeper moved into a position right into the midfield, out of, uh, you know, in net, out between the sticks, into the midfield, this Milinkovic Savage, absolutely insane here. I mean, this is history for EA, guys. This is really the first time they have ever moved a goalkeeper from the goalkeeper spot to another place on the pitch. And we have it with three cards right now. Milinkovic Savage, Pepe Reina, and uh, we have got the Manuel Neuer as well. And we're going to get more. More of these goalkeepers are going to get moved into different positions, but this is just crazy. Like the fact that this, I mean, six foot eight. Remember, he had a winter wild cards goalkeeper SBC that was like kind of nice as well. But six foot eight, Milinkovic Savage, medium high work rates, five star skills, and 99 heading and 99 jumping. This guy in my midfield, six goals in five matches. He had three goals in one match, and they were all headers. This guy on corners is almost unstoppable. He just looks like a giant on the pitch, right? So for me, I know it's not the most meta card, but this is like an, an aspect of fun, right? We always ask about EA, can you drop fun content? Can you do things that are fun on this game? It doesn't get much more fun than this. I know that it is not realistic and that does upset some people, but this is the time of the year where we have stuff like this because it's just pure fun, pure craziness. And props to EA, man. This is something that I didn't expect to see. This is EA going above and beyond with something new, something crazy. And I absolutely love it. And I'm here for it. And I think it's going to happen more this week as well with the leaks that we have at the moment. Um, this is this is just awesome, guys. So for 130K, craft during the week. This is a card you have to try out because he's so fun to use. He's very clunky. He is a truck, right? Um, he's lengthy. He's got 82 agility and uh, he's six foot eight. So it's not going to be a card that is going to dribble that well. But with five star skills, it's just fun. And that's all I can say. It's a must do. And props to EA for doing this not once, but multiple times as a part of this team. And again, it is history, guys. This is the first time ever with the Pepe Reina, with the, the uh, Neuer and the SMS there. Uh, or sorry, the VMS. Technically, it's... Um, it's Milinkovic Banja, Banya Milinkovic Savage, right? So it's not SMS, it's VMS. But these three cards making history. So props to EA for doing something new and different. Also, there was a message that popped up late, kind of delayed uh, when I got on tonight. And I saw that EA also gifted us an 84 times 3 which I'm going to open right now. Uh, and we're going to talk about it in a second when we get more into the pack weight stuff today. Guys, the pack weight is abysmal. I mean, I'm taking a Fabinho out of this 84 3 which is not bad. But um, from what I've seen from the big packs, that wasn't too shabby, I guess. But a lot of the weight for the shapeshifters is not good. And I'm not a fan of that. And I want to talk about that a little bit later. But, but also, we had an SBC return. It doesn't show for me because I already got it done. But some of you guys may have noticed the 92 plus tots or shapeshifters team one player pick. It's back. EA reinstated that SBC for... All of you guys that did not get it done in that first hour and a half time frame went before it was taken down, right? This is the SBC that is um, one of the compensation situations because it included Tots moments when it wasn't supposed to. This is the one that I got to pie from on the video a couple of days ago. We are still awaiting compensation, right? They have not actually paid out compensation for that SBC. But if you did not do it in that first kind of hour and a half time frame when it was first released, um, it is now there and available for you. As you can see here, it's now showing up for me as one of the SBCs that I have completed. That's why I was not able to do it yesterday. But if you guys saw it pop up there, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, and it's creating a lot of movement on the market in terms of fodder prices as well. So we'll talk about that a bit more. Now, speaking of the pack weight, let's talk about cards and packs, guys, because this team uh, is in just kind of increasing the hype of shapeshifters with some really insane cards in here. Uh, the petite, I think the center back, right back one is really, really meta. I love the low tier cheaper cards in here because they're just flat out fun, right? Petite for 300k is nuts. This Giroud card is a center back who was extinct at 130k. EA updated the price range, and now he is below that. We were talking about this on stream. I never thought this card was really worth 
uh, too much more than like 130 or 150,000 coins. He's just got so much supply. Now, I have bought some Giroud's, and I do think there is an opportunity for him to go up a little bit today on Saturday, as there are with some of these Shapeshifter cards. You can tell I'm broke right now. But I picked up a few Giroud's, um, right around 100,000 coins, because I feel like he could go up a little bit today before dropping further into the weekend as people wake up today and they want to try some of these cards out. There's a lot of hype with this team, I feel. Maybe tell me if you guys think that I'm wrong, but a really usable Seedorf, right? The two versions of Petit that are nice. Um, of course, you've got a lot of expensive cards in here with De Jong, especially Usman, Garincha, both versions of Eto. But, I mean, for the cheap cards, Raquelme, that's an awesome card for a low budget, a great left back, or maybe even like a five back or three back kind of outside player on the left. That's a cracked looking item. I think the work rates being medium high are a little bit too defensive for some people. You can make him lengthy with an anchor, which makes him look absolutely disgusting honestly, as a left back for a stay back type of card. But with a five-star skills, that's a cool one. Uh, the Neuer, again, if we're talking about this whole uh, historic thing that EA is doing right now, Striker Neuer with five-star skills. Again, probably not going to be the most insane card in game. He is lengthy on a lot of these different chem styles. I think a lot of people are putting a Hunter on him. Uh, engine. Okay, they're trying to make him dribble as best as they can. And they're making him even controlled and not lengthy. But this is a card that I feel like I have to try, and wow, he just had a crazy spike on PC. 2 million coins on PC, but 850k on uh, the PS Xbox market. This is just the epitome of fun, once again, man. And I think that's what this team embodies. You've got a Giroud at center back. You've got a center back move to goalkeeper with this Cabrera. Another card that I'm just, like, interested to try because... What the heck? We've never seen anything like that before. Zaha with a premium item for better links and a right back card. I mean, not the best card in terms of stats, but it's Zaha at right back. Like, who doesn't want to try that card out? And that's what I think this team is doing a really great job of is just giving us so many cards that are like, wow, I just want to try out this card. So love the team impacts. Could it be a little bit better? Yes, we do have a mini release still incoming. Adiemi, Taliso, and Ochoa are not released yet. Those cards will be dropping on Sunday. And maybe it's part of that, or maybe it's just the way that this team is coded in packs or the way the EA have done it, guys. But right now, the pack weight is awful, man. And now, I packed two petites yesterday. I got very lucky from player picks. But as I look around and as we opened yesterday on stream, we opened probably 10, 85, 84 times 25s. And guys, I kid you not, we did not get a single shapeshifter player from literally 10 84 times 25s that is horrific i mean that's bad last week with some of those 84 25s we were at least able to get a couple of the low tier cards from the shapeshifters team but i don't know what it is with the pack weight even on the icons and the shapeshifter cards themselves it's just not good so if i were you if i had one of those fodder packs that uh, i was about to unlock maybe you just hit the pause button right i don't know what it is maybe the pack weight will change by the time sunday comes around and we have the new mini release cards in packs, or maybe it's the man of the match cards. I don't know what it is. Maybe EA is going to change the pack odds over the weekend. But guys, it was awful on stream yesterday trying to open those. So maybe you save and hold on to those, um, especially you wait for more SBCs to come out. Then you can craft and choose what you want to get done. So I don't know. Uh, it does, of course, seem like the low tier cards are still very supplied. Giroud has got a bunch of cards on the market. This Cabrera is cheap for a reason. Raquel May, same way. I'm not saying that nobody is packing these cards, but I don't know. It just seems like they're kind of unfortunately hard to pack so i'm gonna wait a little bit before opening too many more packs and i would maybe suggest that you guys do the same now as i mentioned i've bought a lot of these guys for a hopeful rise today on saturday guys this is a saturday morning quick flip it worked very very well last week i've already flipped a couple of these guys for good profits i bought two martials on stream at 1.29 1.3 mil flat sold one at 147 sold the other one 143 and i went back in a martial i bought three of them for 1.3 mil because this guy is rare and i think he's He's just got some hype 97 rated center mid position doesn't have the five star skills but just an interesting one that a lot of people i think want to try and he's rare picked up two richarlison's under 600 going for that picked up a, a one neuer at 810 he was a little be little below that he's 860 right now uh and then a couple cheap uh raquel Mays for under 60 or under 70k and some Giroud did it right around 100 so i'm hoping for the quick flip profits into today on saturday but guys I do believe that these shapeshifter cards will, of course, drop down further into Saturday night as they almost always do. So it's going to be a quick flip 
of things. But these guys have already had some crazy price movements. Like this De Young yesterday went from two point, what was he, like 2.6 mil. He went all the way to like 3.8, 3.9. So a crazy move there, up over a million coins. I watched Garincha. Actually, I don't know if he even sold here, but Garincha went from like 4 million coins all the way to 11 mil. Very, very rare card. I doubt that he actually sold for 11 mil um, when he had that price spike. But these guys are in demand, and a lot of people want to try them out because their stats look good and they're fun. So watch for fluctuations today. Um, but for the rest of the market, you know, shapeshifters from Team 1 are doing okay. Some of them are down a bit. Depay, you know, he's down some. Mares was up, but he's back down. Rudiger is going up a little bit. I think I would expect Rudiger to rise a bit more as more and more people are able to claim that Tony Cruz because I think there's going to be a lot of hype around that card. Frankowski is one that I liked yesterday. He's rising. He was like 135. If this goes back down, with more and more people are going to be getting Ganduzi as well. I'm a fan of that Frankowski under 140K. As long as we don't get any other League One cards, it would hurt that item on the market uh but for the rest of like ultimate tots cards and for the rest of the market a lot of prices are just kind of like slowly sliding right a lot of stuff just kind of going down musiala 890 uh pedri's 500k flat that's a bit down for him and i think there's two reasons as to why this is happening number one insane cards at packs right now people want to sell cards to try out the newest the greatest the most hype and stuff like that number two is a lot of coins are being drained off this game right now guys like crazy amounts of coins Every time somebody wants to go do an SBC that requires a Todd's card, they're, sp they're spending 70k, the cheapest Todd's cards right now in this market, 68, 69,000 coins. That's wild, okay? That is ridiculous. And this has to be close to the peak for these Tots cards. They did it again, man. Earlier, you know what, two weeks ago, when we were buying Tots cards for like 20,000 coins, we were like, hey, will these guys go to 70, 80K like they did last year? I sold a bit early, like 55K, of course, because I was also going to be gone and not watching the market as much. And hey, here we are, 68, 69,000 coins for every single one of these Tots cards, with a lot of the cards still at low price ranges that need to be updated. EA is going to have to do something here pretty soon. If you have these Tots card investments, like you're loving life because you're not no you're, you're no longer 2xing your your investment, you're 3xing your investment and then some. So, absolute crazy spike there, but at the same time, this is draining a ton of coins off the market and it's going to hurt the market a lot in the ne in the coming days, the next couple of weeks as the coins continue to be drained because Tots cards are still required in SBCs and people, as you can see with the prices rising on the market, people don't have that many TOTS cards in their club. There's a lot of demand and not a lot of supply. So that's a silly price for team of season cards, but you know, it's impacting the market as we can see uh, on this game right now. Now let's talk about informs as well. I failed to talk about in yesterday's video, which is on me, but today you're going to have another opportunity to watch informs potentially go higher. They're 23, 24,000 coins at the moment. The 84 times five FGS playoffs SBC is gonna refresh again today. These informs are probably gonna go up for one of the last times. Guys, 25, 26, 27,000 coins if these informs go that high. For me, is getting to be a bit of a sell point. I mean, informs just don't have as high of a ceiling as TOTS cards do. They've been out all year long. They've been supplied multiple times. They get supplied way more than team of the seasons. For these cards, if you invested in those, if you maybe get lazy sales of like 30K, that's amazing. So that uh, side of the market's rising as well. And your gold fodder, let's talk about fodder in general at the moment on this market. It's low, man. It is low, and it's looking ripe for an investment. I love the 80s. I love the 88s. 16K for 88s. You guys know where these guys went when uh, we had that big SBC, the 90 plus uh, icon pack from the top three nations. These guys all went to 22, 23,000 coins. You know, I smell that happening again. I think that 90 plus is going to get re upped on Sunday. I really do. So I would watch your 88s. They may go lower today. They could be 15,000 coins, but this price to me is good enough to stock a couple in the club and uh, to not worry about it and to just watch them into this next week. We're getting more player SBCs, and I would imagine another icon pack probably to refresh that 90 plus, whether it's today or tomorrow. I actually don't think it's today because the SBC is still available. I would imagine it is tomorrow on Sunday, maybe even Monday. Who knows? Uh, but I think those 88s, 89s are looking pretty ripe for, for investments there. And maybe even 91s at 34K. These guys were 40,000 coins, right? Uh, we, we would need some more high-rated card um, or requirements in SBCs for that to happen. But that's why I like the 88s. Uh, kind of a big fan of those. 87s, I don't mind. 86s at 9K. That's pretty crazy as well. I'm pretty sure these guys were like, what, 13K? 
a couple days ago. Yeah, 12, 13K when that SBC was released for that icon pack. So I like that side of the market. And then look at 84s. 2.3K for 84s is wild. But again, those are so supplied right now because everybody is getting 83s and 84s from what? Player picks. We've got all these 83 times whatever packs, 84 times whatever packs from the cup rewards, from season progress. There is no shortage of 83s and 84s right now in people's clubs. There's a shortage of that higher tier fodder, the 86s and up, the 87s, the 88s. That's where we want to be investing this week for sure. So whether you want to do it right now or wait until tomorrow for a potentially lower price or to get on some bids, go ahead and stock some of those in the club for an icon SBC and other SBCs upcoming. And speaking of other SBCs upcoming, we've got some leaks and some crazy ones. This is hot off the press. Martinez is getting a shapeshifters SBC, one of the heroes of the World Cup, as um, Foot Sheriff says. Uh, please be this dynamic EA. That would be absolutely phenomenal. But this kind of goes along the same lines with EA moving the goalkeepers to different parts of the pitch. Where is this uh, Martinez going to be moving to? Is he going to be a center back? Is he going to be a midfielder? Is he going to be a striker? We don't know. But he's going to be getting a position change most likely away from a goalkeeper. And that is a fresh leak. So I don't know if that's going to be today. I forget what we had last week on Saturday. I think we had Zembrata, if I remember correctly. Zembrata might have been our SBC. And for that reason, I think it might be checked today, right? Another goalkeeper that's been leaked. This is the one that we have not seen yet from the earlier leaks in the week. He could be our SBC player today. It might be a quiet Saturday. In all honesty, we'll have to see. But I'm uh, very anticipatory for this one for the Martinez just to see where they get released positionally. And I'm, that's very exciting to me, at least. And then yesterday, there was an absolute banger of a leak. And Golo and Golo Kante is getting an end of an era soon. This card will be one that a lot of people want to do as well. Kante's last Premier League card, of course, moving to the Saudi League. Definitely a deserved end of an era. And uh, this makes me a little sad, of course, after having the foot birthday and saying that the SBC was such good value. And now here we are two or three months later. Uh, yes, I've played a lot of games with that card. But this Conte, again, Conte cards in FIFA are always cracked. He's always good, always meta. And this one's going to be especially high because it is an end of an era. Now, this one's probably going to be, if I had to imagine, our most expensive end of an era SBC that we've seen so far. What's the most expensive one we've had, right? Firmino, who's been like, what, three, 400K, something like that. Um, this Conte 92 was 900K. I mean, it was 1.7 mil when it was first released. Dropped down a lot during TOTS to make him that 900K price. But I could see this 96 Conte with the way the current market is probably being over a million coins as an SBC just because EA know they'll be able to get people to pay that price. It might even be like 1.5, like the Beckham SBC is. Don't know when this is going to drop, but it'll be massive whenever it does. A lot of French links are just happening in this game right now, whether it's through SBCs, cards and packs, objectives, and this is going to be another one via the SBC. So that's pretty massive. Again, another reason to stock some of that middle to high tier fodder. I would imagine this is going to require some of that whenever it does release. So a lot of crazy content upcoming. Uh, even last couple things to mention today. Watch out for the 500k store pack and also the FGS tokens today. If you're watching the pro event, there's like a FGS event on today. Um, if you watch those events on Twitch or YouTube, you'll be able to get those FGS tokens, which you can turn in four packs. There's a loading screen for that. If you want to check out that information is there. And maybe more man of the matches. We have man of the matches, I think, going out of packs today. Maybe we'll get a couple more who knows but it's a busy busy time right now in fifa with all the insane content enjoy right now all that you're doing whether it's the cup chasing after ganduzi there's plenty to do in this game right now and i absolutely love it so if you enjoyed the video today drop a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it's been nathan for the account i'll see you in a stream soon and a video tomorrow peace out <laughs>